Writer-director Alex Garland is facing criticism for his new film, Annihilation, which is set to be released February 23rd. After dealing with warring producers and Paramount passing the international release of the movie onto Netflix, the film adaptation of the critically acclaimed sci-fi novel by Jeff Vandermeer is now under fire for whitewashing two of its main characters. Natalie Portman stars in the movie as a biologist and leader of an expedition into a mysterious area where the laws of physics don't seem to apply. However, in Authority, Vandermeer's sequel to the original novel, the same character is described as being of Asian descent and having dark, thick eyebrows, a slight, slightly off-center nose, broken once, falling on rocks, and high cheekbones that spoke to the strong Asian heritage on one side of her family. Similarly, Jennifer Jason Leigh was cast as the character of the psychologist, but in the books is depicted as being half American Indian and half Caucasian. The movie's central cast isn't entirely white. Gina Rodriguez, Tessa Thompson, Oscar Isaac, and Benedict Wong all have roles. The organization's Media Action Network for Asian Americans and American Indians in film and television have spoken out to criticize the casting choices. Writer-director Alex Garland is not being true and honest to the characters in the book, said a board member of the MANAA advocacy group. Continuing, Hollywood rarely writes prominent parts for Asian American and American Indian characters, and those roles could have bolstered the careers of women from those communities. Sonny Skyhawk, founder of American Indians in film and television, added, We are not surprised by the whack-a-mole diversity replacement that goes on. Just when you finish objecting to one whitewashed casting, another one pops up. Garland previously defended himself from accusations of whitewashing in an interview with The Nerdist in December. It would not be in my nature to whitewash anything. That just wouldn't be like me. I read a book and I adapted it because I thought the book was amazing. And I thought, I'm not exactly sure how to adapt this, but I've got an idea. And I just went with it. So that was it. In that same interview, Garland said that he hadn't even read the second and third books in Vandermeer's series. Vandermeer has yet to comment publicly about the issue, although he had noted previously that he never expected or wanted a faithful adaptation from Garland, just a good one. For more on the story, head to THR.com. But first, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the casting of Annihilation? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.